Thank you. My name is Sarah Karanja. I'm a registered clinical nutritionist by the KNDI. I'm currently partnering with Ponea Health to ensure that uh, we promote good health and to ensure that we create awareness on some of the health issues that are affecting our people. So just to mention on the food groups and get and uh, also to help us remember on what their functions are, we can always start with the carbohydrates. Normally, as easy as it was said in school, they are energy-giving foods. They are meant to give us energy to go about our days and also to ensure that uh, the body is able to function well. So this could be uh, the carbohydrates. They are, they, normally, they are the many foods that you get on a food pyramid. So we have rice, we have ugali, we have chapati. Those are energy-giving foods. And then we can go to the other group, which is protein. Proteins are basically, uh, you can get plant-based protein and even uh, animal-based protein. They are meant to build the body. If you have an injury, proteins will help you recover or maybe build or replenish uh, the lost tissues. This, the plant-based proteins could be uh, the likes of beans, the likes of uh, black beans, the likes of dry peas, uh, green grams, and the likes. When it comes to animal protein, we have all sorts of meats, both white and red, and also milk, eggs, and other sources of foods that come from animals. And then we go to the other uh, food group, that is uh, vegetables and fruits. These ones are just meant to give us, uh, to give the body uh, vitamins and minerals that, are, that help in, uh, uh, as we said, bodily functions, but these ones also help in uh, ensuring that we don't have deficiencies. We have another small group that we're supposed to use sparingly, and that is fats and sugars. Eh? So if you're to use them sparingly, it just means that we don't need to use them in large amounts in our foods. So when we say balanced diet, is a combination of all those food groups in one plate, only that you have to moderate the amount. If it's carbohydrates, you have to moderate the amount. If it's veges, vegetables, you have to moderate at the same time, proteins and uh, the fats and sugars at the same time. Yeah, so basically that is what we mean by a balanced diet. But also, this is determined by maybe uh, the, the nutrition status, how healthy is this person. Maybe if they're suffering from a certain condition, then everything you can moderate from there. You, that is, you look into portions, how much of a certain food group am I giving this person? So that, those are some of the things that we look into when we talk about nutrition and even in disease management and even in a, a throughout the life cycle. Thank you for having me and thank you for joining me in this discussion uh, as we look into nutrition throughout the life cycle. Uh, you can book for my services at ponea.com as we get to look as i look forward to engaging in more discussion in nutrition in disease management uh, throughout the life cycle from childhood to elderly uh, ages and also to ensure that uh, even you who is looking just to get to know what a nutrition uh, nutritious diet is or maybe healthy diet is we get to discuss that as for everyone we always individual we individualize every person so that uh, we ensure that the nutrition requirements for this person are met. So thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to more discussions over the same time.